Welcome to DeFi Crypto Today. Our topic today is the Binance Smart Chain $1 billion growth fund. So there's a lot of chains right now that are having incentives to help uh, people build new apps or to have more users join in uh, DeFi and crypto in general. And Binance decided to go at it again. This is their second time as far as I know. Uh, the first time a year ago was about a uh, hundred million in their BSC Accelerator Fund. And uh, it was on support uh, DAP building and on the BSC. Uh, this one is a little bit different but before we start talking about the details here I want to show you um, the TVL on the Binance Smart Chain. What does it look like? So if we go to DeFi Lama and we're looking at uh, the Binance Smart Chain from March to about beginning of May uh, there was a huge growth uh, in terms of TVL for on the Binance Smart Chain and then the market crashed and uh, it went down quite a bit and it's been kind of struggling to get back to its former glory. Uh, it's sitting at about roughly 50-60% of where it was at the maximum uh, here. So uh, it, it's probably a good idea for Binance to, uh, to push the notoriety of their, their chain okay, uh, with this program. Now, if we compare that to uh, how it's going on other chains, you'll see that uh, basically not only did the market crash, but other chains have been eating BSE's lunch since uh, May. Okay, Ethereum is, uh, if we look at Ethereum, Ethereum is like, this doesn't care about anything, <laughs> it's still going. <laughs> uh, I don't know, uh, it, I guess it's mostly richer people than me, uh, <laughs> because the gas fees are killing me. Gas fees are killing me. I don't know how uh, we can invest on this at the moment uh, if we've got a small portfolio. If you don't have like, I don't know, a portfolio of at least $100,000, I don't see how it's profitable to pay $100 gas for anything on DeFi. It, it makes no sense to me. Uh, then we've got Solana has been doing quite well lately. Uh, this down here happened uh, when uh, Solana had a denial of service attack, but you know they managed to get back to almost the same level as they had earlier, which is quite impressive considering this was a major attack. Now Polygon didn't fare as well. Okay, Polygon looks a little bit like uh, like Binance, a smaller version of Binance, they went pretty high up to about um, 10 billion or so and now they're uh, down to 3.95 so they're trailing uh, the other chains there and I think I think uh, ESC and Polygon have been uh, the most negatively affected uh, chains by the, the competition that's uh, growing these days. Now, uh, we all heard about the Avalanche Rush and it's still going strong, especially now that uh, Avi and uh, Curve and Sushi are on board. Uh, Pobenki lost uh, a few feathers, but uh, <laughs> overall the uh, Avalanche market is doing super well. Now, another one that had uh, an incentive program uh, that started recently is Phantom. And Phantom, it's like, look at this, you know, it's, uh, it's been quite parabolic. It's been going down a little bit uh, recently. I don't know if it's going to shoot back up, uh, but uh, recently it's been booming. Okay, so. Obviously, what we can see is that 
Now Binance has a lot more competition. Before it only had uh, Ethereum and uh, then um, Polygon and now it's got uh, five, six, seven uh, chains competing against it. Okay, but I'm very impressed by the size of the incentive. This is bigger than all the, in the other incentive projects of all the other chains for the whole year. Uh, it, that's a lot of money, okay? And, they, and they're not just going to throw this cash <laughs> at uh, end users, okay? And um, try to boost, um, not going to do like uh, Polygon and Avalanche. They're not going to just uh, give you extra bonus uh, tokens when you deposit on, uh, on dApps, okay? On DeFi protocols. No, it's a lot more elaborate than that. We're going to have a look, a quick look at uh, the different uh, parts of the, the program. Uh, I'm not going to read the whole thing. I'm just going to give you a few highlights. You can read this uh, in greater detail. It's a very interesting project. Uh, basically, they say it's the time is now to accelerate their efforts in scaling uh, solutions for the masses and build powerful financial infrastructures. So they aim to introduce uh, the decentralized world of gaming, social networking, financial service, and more to general masses to spread awareness around Web 3.0. So they want to bring in a lot of people, okay, into uh, crypto and DeFi in particular, okay? and gaming and social and whatever, but uh, you know, uh, they, they, they want people to be aware of what's going on. They want my sister to know about this, <laughs> you know. Uh, anyway, so to address this, Binance announces the biggest funding program of its kind in the whole cryptocurrency industry, and that's true, the one billion dollar fund to push the adoption of not only uh, BSC, but the whole blockchain industry. So they're not just focus on their own Binance Smart Chain. They, they want to uh, bring in new users and new applications and games and so on to the whole industry. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm expecting it's going to be multi-chain effort, a multi-chain effort. So they divided the, uh, the fund into four groups. It's on the chart here. So uh, there's 100 million for talent development, 100 million for liquidity incentive programs. That's where you might get extra tokens. And there's a 300 million uh, dollar uh, uh, builder program. So that's to help uh, people build new applications. And there's a $500 million investment and incubation program, again, to help bring uh, to life new projects, okay? So, let, let, let's have a quick look at uh, the, different, the four different sections. So, for the talent development, basically they want to de uh, mentor developer communities, educate new crypto investors, provide academic scholarships to universities, run boot camps, support R&D, and all kinds of good stuff, okay? There's more details here, you can read that by yourself. But th this is the education and the training part of the program, okay? They want to uh, train developers, they want to educate investors like, like me, for instance, and they want to, uh, you know, help schools and also get uh, to do research and develop new things. Then there's the 100 million liquidity incentive program. So they want to encourage uh, participation from traditional financial markets and crypto, including providing liquidity rewards, extra tokens, to specific protocols based on innovation, TVL, active users, and trading volume. 
Okay, so to give some examples here. Uh, also, they want to provide flexibility and support for professional traders and institutions to provide more liquidity to DeFi protocols. So they want the big guys to put their money in crypto and provide liquidity. Okay, so they want to show them how to do that. They want to support them. And they want to provide uh, the tools for them to use uh, to invest. So, you know, they want to bring in trillions of dollars in this. That, that, that's the whole goal here. So, and next part is the $300 million uh, builder and incubation program. So, um, basically they already have a builder program, so they're going to boost it with an extra $300 million. Uh, 100 million of which, uh, which is going to be used to conduct regional and global hackathons where hackers benefit from joint bug bounty programs and running developer conferences and supporting existing uh, mainstream development programs. This is, for me, I find that this is essential. You know I like to read audits, <laughs> okay? That's because we need to have good code, okay? Crypto and DeFi and all that are trustless systems. What does that mean? It means, okay, compare, compare that to traditional banking or traditional finance, okay? So you trust the bank with your money because the government has a law that says the bank cannot steal your money, okay? And if they do, they're going to go to jail and whatever, okay? And you have to trust all those employees that work at the bank, okay, then they're not going to steal your money. Okay? And you're gonna and you have to trust them that they're going to invest your money wisely and they're going to give you interest or whatever. Same if you go to a stockbroker, you, you, you know, it's certified by the government. Okay? So you have to trust your government, you have to trust that the law is uh, designed to help you. You have to uh, trust that the guy that took the, cert uh, the certification program and, and, uh, and passed. And you trust that he's still not a crook and not going to take your money and run or, you know, do transactions on the side without telling you and charge you exorbitant fees uh, in the process. That's a lot of trust, okay? Crypto is the opposite. Don't trust us. Look at the code and check the code. If the code is good, then, in, in, in your opinion, then invest. Okay? I don't trust the programmers. Okay? I, tr uh, I trust that the code has been reviewed, audited, and battle tested, and that's why you have hackathons. Okay? To have hackers try to break into the code. And, and you know steal the money okay and usually these guys are pretty smart okay hackers are probably among the, the smartest programmers out there okay they know to smell uh, you know a broken window and get into it okay they know how to break a lock they know how to uh, change the code or exploit the code to uh, take money out Okay, so you want to pay these guys, okay, to help you out, fix your holes in your code, okay? And that's why they're giving a hundred million dollars to those guys here. Now, the, uh, we also talk here about uh, another 200 million would be used to expand uh, MVB and incubate a hundred innovative dApps and infrastructure uh, provides building on top of BSC. So they, they want to improve the system, they want to add new uh, dApps and so on, so they're going to mentor them and help the community uh, improve existing projects. And then you have a $500 million investment program. This one is to accelerate mainstream adoption and to bring disruption to financial infrastructures. I love this word, disruption. Uh, <laughs> Financial instru uh, institutions for the last uh, couple hundred years, or at least, have been bleeding the customers to death. Okay? And it's about time that uh, regular investors like you and I, okay, uh, get their fair share. Okay?
okay and financial uh, there, there's a way to to have finance work for the end user and not just for uh, bank executives and and and, and the trade and traders at uh, the banks okay and bank shareholders so uh, crypto is truly a revolution and this looks like it might help improve the, uh, the, the system so this fund will be used uh, to grow decentralized computing gaming metaverse virtual reality artificial intelligence and financial services not limited to bsc but also support all the blockchain infrastructure so that's very positive not just uh, you know it should have a broad appeal so if you're working on a DeFi project or gaming project or whatever, you might be interested in uh, knocking at Binance's door and see if you can be part of that program. All right. So again, uh, to conclude, this is uh, with one billion dollar in funding. This is the world's largest crypto accelerator project available at the moment. I'm, I'm very excited about this. I, I think, you know, there's a good chance it's going to help expand DeFi and expand crypto in general and probably be able to bring hundreds of millions of new users into the crypto world. Okay. All right. That's it for this uh, video. If you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and download my free book. It's free. It explains some crypto strategies. Now, if you don't want it for free, send $5.99 to Jeff Bezos at Amazon and Jeff will send me a check uh, later for a dollar. See you.